All right, in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the Kodachrome Fujifilm JPEG recipe and why I think in some ways it's kind of all you need. Before I get started, I'd like to say that everything you're about to see is straight out of the camera, whether that is video footage or JPEG images. And I was shooting all of these on my, my Fujifilm X-T4 using the Kodachrome recipe from Fuji X Weekly by Richie Roche. I encourage you to go to his website and look at all of his different recipes. He has a lot on there and honestly, I'm kind of late to the party. This has been a big thing for a while and I've just really gotten into it in the last year and I'm really enjoying shooting in this style. So I would encourage you to check it out. The thing is color is very difficult. In fact, there are people who make an entire career out of color, editing color, especially for film. It's the kind of thing that can take a lifetime to master, and even though editing images can be fun, it's extremely difficult and time-consuming to get genuinely good at it. That isn't to say I'm done editing images or that I never will again or anything like that, but in some ways, getting a JPEG off of my camera and not going to edit the RAWs is a time saver, of course, but also just very much enjoyable to get great color out of my system without really putting in a lot of work. And that's where what are called recipes come in. Instead of taking your raw images and importing them into Lightroom or some other editor, you actually make edits in the camera before you actually take the images and Fujifilm will then process those JPEGs for you, giving you a final image straight off the camera without you really having to do any post-processing at all. I used to love editing my images, but as time goes on, I don't really enjoy it as much as I once did. Fujifilm does have really great default profiles that create wonderful images in JPEG form and also in video form, but I find some of their profiles a little bit sterile and very safe. The fun thing about the JPEG recipes is that you can kind of dial things up a little bit and make some more interesting images. The Kodachrome 64 recipe is particularly good and has kind of become my favorite because it takes a profile I already love, which is classic chrome, and gives it a little bit of a warmer, more saturated feel. And I just really love the sort of vintage look that it creates. I don't need this to be a super long video. I think the images speak for themselves. I just wanted to get this out there because if you're the kind of person who is interested in this kind of thing or desires to explore it a little bit and you happen to own a Fujifilm camera, then I would encourage you to try some recipes out. I'm sure that other manufacturers have similar settings for their JPEG images, but Fujifilm's implementation is particularly good. And the Kodachrome 64 setting is a kind of a sweet spot for me in that I'm just really happy with the output and I don't have a huge desire to then make a lot of tweaks to my images. It's been a really fun way to shoot and so I just wanted to share it here so that if this was something that you weren't aware of or hadn't tried yet, maybe you would give it a go. Save yourself some editing time and enjoy the fluid and seamless process of having your images come out of the camera looking really interesting and really fantastic. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share in this video. I hope you are well. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.